Welcome to this short video about the Steve Demonstrator. Steve is an online tool that allows you to visually compare different scenarios of urban energy policies, both in the future and historically. At the moment, Steve is available for a sample geographic area of 55,000 homes in South Wales. In this video, we will demonstrate how to select a policy scenario and visualise it for different energy efficiency measures on a map. There are three steps involved. First, select a scenario. Second, click View Map. Finally, select the output model you wish to view. So, step one. There are three preset scenarios applied by our project partner, the Welsh School of Architecture. I can click on the I icon to get a short description of each scenario. Each scenario is built from a combination of energy efficiency variables. When I select a different scenario, note how the position of the green button on the bars change. This reflects different input values for the variables in different scenarios. Hover over the green buttons on the slider bars to see what input values are associated with the different points on the bar. You can set a custom scenario by selecting a combination of the four variables. Simply click and drag on the green buttons until you're happy with the combination you have selected. The second step is to click View Map. You should see your map change. The sample area is shaded to reflect your outcome. Click on different decades to see how the outcome compares. The shading represents aggregated energy efficiency values for recognised geographies. The shading represents the thematic layer of your map. For the preset scenarios 1, 2 and 3, we can view the outcome historically as well as in the future, from 1990 to 2050. For custom scenarios, it's not possible to view historic output. The third and final step is to select the output model. Hover over each energy efficiency measure for more information. As you select a different output, the legend on the right hand side of the box changes to reflect the shading used to create your map. It's possible to view these output measures for individual buildings. First we need to zoom in. You can use the plus sign to zoom in. Or the minus sign to zoom out. You can also double click anywhere to zoom into that point. To move around, just click and drag to move the map in any direction. Once you have zoomed into the area of interest, you need to switch on the buildings layer. Once switched on, you should see blue dots appear on individual properties. Click on any dot and a box will display the energy efficiency values for that property. You can toggle between the buildings layer and the thematic layer. Clicking on data download will allow you to download the data used in your current scenario. You can download for any decade of your choice in two different formats, CSV or KML. We hope that was useful as an introduction to Steve. We'd really like to know what you think of it. Get in touch with us via our blog or contact Stuart Murdoch.